everyone welcome to my channel so today I'm gonna be setting these little white stones in this ring I removed the older ones because they were kind of too scratched up so right now I am putting in the new ones that are nice and shiny white stones that are not diamonds tend to scratch pretty easily so that's kind of what these are in this rings Yes, I also gave this ring a brand new prongs right over here because they were just really, really thin. But with rings that are worn on a daily basis, do need maintenance. Uh, about like, not as much as like a car would, but about as, they at least need to be checked. Like wedding rings, for example, need to be checked once a year by a, a local jeweler. Because sometimes like the metal just rubbing it with your fingers for years um, can actually wear down the metal and usually the prongs can get thin and that creates like makes the stone vulnerable okay. so and then they just need to be replaced the prongs over time and that way they'll be good as new Another good thing to have for your ready rings is if you have like a side band. It's always good to solder it next to each other if you like wearing them together because that also prolongs the life of the ring as well. It takes a lot for rings to be so badly worn that they need a new ring really. But just a little touch ups here and there is always good. And it makes it last like for decades so. Not everybody takes the ring in to have it cleaned at least, but wedding rings for sure really need to be cleaned once a year. Now earrings for example, earrings because of the ear buildup, those need to be cleaned actually four times a year at least. And that's really for that reason, but for the most part, it's usually wedding rings that need the most amount of maintenance. All right. So I got the first one set. It's all nice and tight, which is great. All right, so now let's do the second one. All right. Let's go set in there. See how well it fit. Yeah. I think it's kind of close. I think I'm gonna cut a little bit more. So recently my shop actually kind of flooded kind of was annoying because I wasn't able to just do the work that I wanted to soon enough. Well, everybody know, of course, but I had people come in here to try to fix it, but they said they couldn't find anything. Well, sure enough, when it rained, it actually flooded again. Not, the water wasn't like inches tall, it was more like a centimeter probably, but it still is just concerning because I have things I want to plug into, you know, some electrical things like my flex shaft right here that I want to be sure that the water didn't damage it, but luckily it didn't, but I did eventually get them to fix something part of this room, so, so far nothing. So it looks like it's fixed to me, so I thought, well, I guess I can get started again. Yeah, now I'm behind on my projects, which I hate being behind, but anyway, at least I have plenty of things to work on. And this one is all those fun repairs, because this actually turned out really nice just soldering all three rings together is what I did. They were three separate rings, but I combined them into one ring. And it kind of, this ring kind of reminds me of like a, a crown almost. That's what I like about it. And everything kind of points in one direction. And it gives a kind of a more regal look about it. And what's kind of neat is I'm putting two pieces of history together. Because this ring is much older than this ring, I believe. Yeah, I'm just trying to wedge this little prong. I don't want to like, yeah, just miss it and like get it to not move where I want to. Or 
I've tried not to anyway. Let's see how this goes. Good. Gonna need a little bit more room. Yeah. Alright. Got it to move, yes. Now I have to do it on this other side. It's hard to see, like, up close. But the prongs do move. It's just so subtle that it's like... I have to get the camera just like so close that it kind of starts getting too fuzzy. Eventually I would like to upgrade to a new camera so I can get even closer shots. That's what I'm hoping for. I'm glad these prongs are holding up. Cause, and they're they're sturdy, so I don't have to worry about these later. They will take a lot for them to move where they're not supposed to. All right, let's see if we can get this one going. All right, here we go. The stone's tight, but I'm gonna move the prongs a little bit more. So I recently got some knitting I'm excited to put up for my uh, cat. It's I have a very large patio, but I kind of wish I had some more room on the inside instead of a giant patio, but oh well. So I'm just gonna try to make it like a fun area for my cat mostly, and for myself too. So I got this knitting that I'm just gonna put up so that he can join me and then he can just hang outside. And the other thing I don't like about where I live is the laundry is also outside on my giant patio, which is super weird. I don't like that at all. But it's fine if it's like warm enough, but if it's too cold, it's annoying. But it, worry when it gets too hot, then that gets the, it's whatever. I don't, I don't mind that much, but I just don't like the moment like I take my clean clothes out of the washer and then I put them in the dryer and sometimes one sock just falls onto the floor on my patio and I feel like it's immediately dirty again. It's because it's like outside. <laughs> That's my complaint. Really. I don't know. I don't know if anybody else has outside laundry. I think some do in Hawaii and places like that. I don't know how that well that works but it I think it's I I think it works if you live in an area where the weather doesn't change that much. If you don't really have a change of seasons, then it could absolutely work. But here, where I live, this, the weather changes every day, so it's, I'm just kind of at the whim. Or how much I want to put up with, really. Anyway. Oh yeah, it's nice and tight. I like that. Good, good, good. Alright, now let's go to the next one. Alright, so this particular stone has a very, it's hard to tell, but under a microscope, it does have a very fat girdle, which is the edge around the stone. Like, for example, this, the very point of the shape of it. It's very thick, so I'm actually going to cut a little bit more into the setting to make sure it does have room, because the last thing I want is for it to, the prongs to go over it, and then it's just not covering hardly nothing. I don't want that at all, so. All right, let's see how this will fit. Let's see how this will fit. All right. I think it's almost there. I think it needs just a little bit more room, but it's actually almost there, which is awesome. Great. It's actually more shaped like most colored stones usually are cut. They're kind of shaped more like spheres than diamond shape. Although they've gotten better at it now, but I guess I'm just referring to some of the old cuts. And that's why most jewelers don't like setting color stones because it's just a lot more tedious. 